Good evening, YouTube. Another beer review by Brew by Me. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing another Creamore Springs uh, product. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing their Keller beer. Um, unfiltered and generously hopped. It's 5% ABV, cellar fresh lager. Uh, pure spring water, premium malt, specialty hops, and select yeast. Proudly brewed in Creamore, Ontario, Canada. 473 milliliter can. Uh, Brewery Limited Special Release. Since the Middle Ages, folks in rural Germany have enjoyed fresh, locally brewed beer straight from the brewer's cellar, known as Keller beer. Keller beers are unfiltered, so the beer is naturally cloudy, distinctly flavorful, and refreshing. We brew our Keller beer in small batches using our direct fire kettle. Special German whole leaf hops are added late in the brewing process, producing a beer that is wonderfully aromatic with a hint of citrus and spice on the palate. The folks at Creamore Springs are proud to share their love of traditional brewing with you. No additives, no preservatives, no pasteurization. So, it's different than the rest of their cans. It's kind of a uh, pink coppery color can. Uh, using my Kishisippi Brewing Company uh, pint glass. Um, it does have the mark on the back. Um, they are a local brewery here. They have three beers that you can buy only in growlers. I think they're working on getting 355 milliliter bottles. Um, I can't wait till that happens because then I can send a bottle here and send a bottle there instead of sending a big uh, two liter growler. Anyhow, let's give her a pour. See what we get, guys. A little aggressive. Sorry about that. Anyhow, um, always delivered fresh. Um, these guys, Creamore Springs, delivers their beer to the LCBO weekly. So their beer is always fresh and it's not pasteurized. None of it is. So it's one of those beers where... Uh, you go into the LCBO here in Canada, you buy it and you drink it as soon as you can or else you know, you never know what you might get. You might get some funky smells or something like that. But hmm. hmm. Alright, so very cloudy. Very cloudy. So you guys can see. Three fingers ahead. A nice pillowy top. Um, you cannot see through it, so it so it is unfiltered. Um, it is dark copper in color, I'd say. Maybe on the high end of brass. Hmm. All right. So it's like a a glacier of. Uh, of head here, it's like a big poofy cloud of head, it's awesome. Very, very dense, so really small bubbles, so it might stick around, guys. Anyhow, um, it's a nice looking beer, off the smell. I'm getting your maltiness, your sweetness. Um, there is a slight bit of breadiness, not too much, but there is some breadiness there. Um, I'm also picking up a, citrus and uh, 
uh, a slight spiciness. As you can see, it is the perfect glass right now because the beer is at the line and the head is above the line. That's how it should be. Um, so it's a very, very nice looking beer. Um, other than that, I'm not getting anything else off the smell. So let's dive in, give her a taste, see what we get. Wow. So, off the, initial, off the initial sips, getting a nice sweetness, a nice maltiness, followed by a nice bitterness. Um, the bitterness is kind of in between a spicy, citrusy type of bitterness. Um, kind of like a, maybe grapefruit or a lemon. There is a slight bit of um, breadiness there, like uh, maybe it's one of the malts they use that give it that slight breadiness. Mm. It's clean, it's crisp, it's refreshing. Look at that. Each sip I take leaves a, a line of lacing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so, as I continue drinking this beer, there is a lot of uh, more spicy than citrus. Um, kind of, kind of earthy. It's a medium mouthfeel. Um, front of the tongue, like I said, sweetness, maltiness, medium. Uh, middle of the tongue, you get the the bitterness. At the back, you get the uh, the carbonation, and you get the um, the flavors of the hops, like the the, the floral hops they're using. Um, it's a fairly decent beer. It's actually, this is actually the first Keller beer I've ever had. Um, I've never ever had any other Keller beers, so I can't compare it to anything else. Um, but for for the first one, it's actually, oh, excuse me, it's really good. No complaints about this beer, guys. Um, if you can find it in your area, give it a try. It is a um, it is a specialty a beer, so it's a special release. Um, I don't know how often it is released. Maybe just in the fall. I don't know 100%. Um, but if you can find it, give it a try because it's quite different than most of the beers you've ever had. But it is quite tasty. Um, there is uh, each sip I take uh, you get a little bit of this a little bit of that it's awesome again the water they use I am telling you it's it's awesome like it's so so soft it kind of reminds me of uh you know, you take a shower, you say you live in the country and you take a shower with well water, you know how your hair feels really soft and the water's really soft feeling? That's kind of the the taste I get, is the very, the, the really, really softness. 
it's really, really soft and smooth. I, I, it's awesome water. You know, they say it's four ingredients to make a good beer, and the four ingredients are water, barley, hops, and yeast. And if they're all good and they're all fresh, you can't go wrong by making a beer, man. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. This beer is freaking awesome. Like, look at the lacing. One, two, three lines. Like, wow, this is a well-crafted beer. You know, like, you can't get any macros that leave lacing like that. Anyhow, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I sniffed it, I smelt it, I've tasted it, I've told you what I thought. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any uh, suggestions or ideas in the comment box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, until next time, out.